Uh, remember, uh, God asked a question last week in verse 23. Am I a God at hand, saith the Lord, and not a God afar off? Am I a God close to you and not far away? You know, like a lot of people think, oh, God's up there and he's up there. He doesn't, he doesn't uh, know about us. He doesn't care about us. Yes, he does care about us. And he cared about them. But, you know, we get this impression, oh, you know, God's up there at the other end of the universe and is sitting on a throne. But he's, He's actually, and, and, you know, how can he be close to, you know, well, all of us in here, individually, it's easy for him. He can do it. God can do it. Okay. So we come down to verse 29. And again, chapter 23 is Jeremiah. Uh, uh, you know, God instructed Jeremiah to blast the false prophets. And, uh, and you know, one of his, these ideas, you know, the, about God at hand and, and not a God far enough, far off, come down to verse 20, uh, just my, 29. Is not my word like as a fire? Okay. And, you know, well, here with, you know, climate change and global warming and all of the uh, you know, we're all going to die here in the next couple of years from, from all of the, the uh, wildfires that are burning up Texas. Uh, uh, you, know, uh, you know, fire is, is what? It's quick moving. It's hot. It's, it's uh, dangerous, okay, if you will. And it will destroy everything. There are, you know, I don't know what the 1.3 million acres in Texas. Are we still in Oklahoma? Yeah. Uh, that that and and all those towns and city and, and in California and oh, Hawaii, the one town there in Hawaii. But you know, he, he he's he's asking, is not my word like as a fire, saith the Lord? Uh, you know, is uh, is it, you know, destructive? Is it is it, you know, swift moving, like that, that picture, and like a hammer, that breaketh the rock in pieces. Okay? You know, God's word will change things if you trust in what He is saying, and and He's asking the children of Israel this. Okay. Uh, you're not trusting what I'm saying, and, and it will change. God's word's going to change everything. Break rocks, burn. There. Therefore, come down here, behold, I am against the prophets. Wow. And, 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 and you know, uh, Jeremiah, here in, in starting verse 30, he, he gives. You know, kind of in, in su succession, main characteristics of the teaching of the false prophets. Okay. Uh, the, the first is, you know, verse three, therefore, behold, I am against the prophets, <coughs> saith the Lord, that steal my words, every one from his neighbor. Okay. Well, they, they, they hear something, okay, and. Well, oh, I guess you could say, what, plagiarism? That's big these days. There are a lot of people that are, you know, that will plagiarize stuff. President of Harvard. Yeah. 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 And, you know, they'll, 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 they'll just steal whatever somebody else is saying. So, you know, one prophet says something, yep. then, then another prophet will say the same thing, steal the other guy, the other prophets. They're now you'll probably notice that they aren't stealing Jeremiah's prophet words, are they? They're just stealing everybody else's. Steal with, that steal my words, every one from his neighbor. And, and if they hear something, uh, you know, if, if uh, one of these false prophets hears, 
you know, maybe, oh, maybe he's uh, hearing a conversation in the marketplace or, or at, the, at the front gate, and, and someone, you know, maybe some citizen out there says something that interests him. Well, if it sounds good, he'll steal it and turn it into one of his false prophecies. Okay? Steal from his... Behold, <clears throat> I am against the prophets that use their tongues and say, he saith. Okay, they're, 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 this is second, you know. They, they, they have no message from God, but they, they take their tongues, they come up with, with whatever they want, okay, and, 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 and then they say, oh, yeah, God told me this. But God didn't tell them that. They're, they're lying, lying through their teeth. They're, they're you know, uh, using their tongues, saying, he saith, well, God says, yeah, behold, I am against them that prophesy false dreams. Okay? Uh, they're, they're vain, empty talk, prophesying false dreams, saith the Lord, and do tell them and cause my people to err by their lies and by their lightness, their, their vanity, their, their uh, uh, yeah, their uselessness. Yet I sent them not. No. We, we know, and, uh, you know, in the Bible, we know that we, we can trust, you know, Ezekiel, Daniel, uh, Isaiah, Jeremiah, we, we can trust them because their prophecies came true. And any, any prophecy that does not come true is a lie. And they're, they're prophesying false dreams. They, they're having dreams. We talked about the dreams last week. They're having these, these dreams and, and these visions and coming up with whatever strange, you know, you can come up... You can come up with some strange stuff. Pastor comes up with some strange stuff in his dreams. I come up with some strange stuff, and everybody has had really strange dreams. And you know, and you know, you you think, oh, I, I, I uh, there's there's something uh, that I had a dream about actually just the other night. Another strange dream that I had. Uh, we, we have to file, uh, the church has to file corporation papers with the Secretary of State over there in Olympia. Every year. Every year, and pay a $20 fee every year. Of course, it, go, it seems to go up every year, depending on whoever the Secretary of State is. But, but I had a dream that, that, oh, I was needing to file those forms right now <clears throat> in, the, in that dream, and when I woke up, I, I had to go on my computer and, and look and see when that was due, you know. I, I, in, in, uh, well, apparently it's not due until May this year. Yeah, yeah it's, it's in March, because we, we had a little difficulty with it a couple of years ago. And, and the, we had to redo them, refile it, and anyway, I guess now. But anyway, you know, I thought in my dream that I had done this, and and or and then, but then I had to go online and look it up, and no, I didn't, I didn't do that. I have OCD dreams. Yeah. So, you know, does. Does my dream mean anything? No, but it, but it did get me thinking, I need to do that here very soon. So anyway, false dreams. Uh, prophesy, and they're, they're coming up with false dreams, saith the Lord, and do tell them. And, you know, they tell their dreams and cause my people to err by their lies. Their dreams turn into lies. And by their lightness, okay, their vanity, their... Uh, yet I sent them not, nor commanded them. Therefore, they shall not profit this people at all, saith the Lord. The false prophets are, are not going to, are, are just going to make things worse with his people. And verse 33, 
And when this people, or the prophet, or a priest, <coughs> shall ask thee, saying, What is the burden of the Lord? You know, and you, you know what, what is, what is, if you will, what is, you know, burden? What, what is, you know, the Lord worried about, caring about? What, what is his, his, uh, if you will, load of, of concern about? You know, they're, they're, they're these false prophets, people, false prophets. What is the burden? You know, they're, they're asking the, uh, the false prophet, oh, you know, what, is, what does God think about this? What, what is his concern about this? Well, thou shalt say unto them, what burden? Now, uh, I'm not, okay, this phrase, what is the burden of the Lord? Thou sh is, is, God, is God, okay. This is one of those kind of things here, you wonder who he is talking to when he says, thou shalt say unto them, what burden? Uh, is he talking to Jeremiah? You know, you know, the false prophets are saying, are asking, what's what's the burden? And is Jeremiah saying, what burden? Or, you know, uh, <clears throat> or you know, somebody, somebody asks asks the false prophets, what burden? I will even forsake you, saith the Lord. Priests, people, priests, prophets. You know, they're asking about a burden of the Lord. Well, they're, they're, they're not getting the right information. You know, they are not telling, you know, the people what God's true burden is. God's you think they, they believe their false uh, <clears throat> prophecy themselves. They, yeah. They were self-deceived. They're, they're deceiving that themselves. that brings us back to, or brings us to discernment. We lose our discernment when we're, you know, we can thank God's telling us this and be so sure of it, but if we're not balanced yeah. out with the Bible truth, then we're going to be messed up on our discernment. That, that's, about, that's it. But, hey, they will be forsaken. I will even forsake you. And as for the prophet and the priest and the people that, sh that shall say the burden of the Lord... I will even punish that man and his house. Okay. Now, he, now he's going individually. Okay, prophet or the priest or the people. That, that you know, uh, they're saying, doing the same thing. They're, they're just spreading lies. Punish that man and his house, his whole family. Thus shall ye say everyone to his neighbor, neighbor, and every one to his brother, what hath the Lord answered, and what hath the Lord spoken? Right. And the burden of the Lord shall ye mention no more, for every man's word shall be his burden. Right. Every, every man that, that's speaking lies, that, that's going to be his problem. Right. For ye have perverted the words of the living God. You're not hearing it, you're spreading it, and you're perverting it. Okay? <clears throat> and you're the, uh, you know, he's saying to the people, and to the priest, and to the prophet, well, you're in trouble, they're in trouble, uh, everything's not okay, uh, uh, perverted the words of, of the Lord of hosts, our God. Thus, Shalt thou say to the prophet, What hath the Lord answered thee? And what hath the Lord spoken? Say, say to those false prophets, you know, what, 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 was, what was God's answer? And what did he, what did he say? But, uh, you know, since they say the burden of the Lord, they're, they're, they're making a, a big to-do about the burden of the Lord, but they are not preaching the true burden of the Lord, the true concern of God, and God's concern, his true concern is their idolatry and their sin, okay? and they're you know, following all these false prophets. 
Therefore, thus saith the Lord, because ye say this word, the burden of the Lord, and I have sent unto you, saying, ye shall not say the burden of the Lord. No, don't, you're, you're, you're not concerned about this. You're telling lies. I, you know, I, I didn't say this. I didn't send you. So don't say that. Don't use that phrase. Therefore, behold, I, even I, will utterly forget you. And I will forsake you. Think, you know, how would you feel, you know, if, if God completely forgot us? Or, or, for, or <coughs> forsook us? Yeah, forsook, that, yeah. Forsook us? Forsook? Forsaken? Forsaken? What? Yeah. Forsaken. For, yeah, I think forsook is, is the right, yeah. Anyway, I, I, I will forsake you, you know. Now, one thing I'll probably say, you know, about all of us here, we don't have to worry about that. God will not forsake us. God will not forget us. Okay, God will not uh, punish us. Okay, we aren't going to end up in hell for our sins, okay? because we have not trusted Him as our Savior, okay? and and you know, and let's see, and uh, and I will forsake you and the city that I gave you, and your fathers <clears throat> uh, forsake you and the city. Remember, Jerusalem will be completely, totally destroyed when Nebuchadnezzar moves in. Okay? And cast you out of my presence. And out of my out of his presence, captivity for 70 years. Okay? And they, they'll have 70 years to think about what they, you know, any surviving of those false prophets, they'll have 70 years of slavery to think about what they have done and the lies that they have told. And if they don't repent, okay, they're in big, deep trouble. Okay? Cast you out of my presence, and I will bring an everlasting reproach upon you. Now, think about it. Everlasting reproach? Okay. How many <clears throat> centuries has it been since, uh, since the 70 years of captivity? And we're still thinking about it? There's an everlasting reproach on those false prophets, on the, the, the people who believed the false prophets and didn't trust him, and a perpetual shame, okay, which shall not be forgotten. We are reminded every time, you know, when, whenever we read the Bible and, and hear about the <coughs> captivity, it is not forgotten. What, what they did is not forgotten. And, wow, managed to get through a whole bunch of chapter, uh, verses, and we finished the chapter.